Hey friends, this is Atif, hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Stellar. After breaking down the triangle, Stellar is still moving just below the support of this triangle. And in today's video, we will take a look at the next expected move of Stellar. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more ideas, you can also support me here at the Patreon. Because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. So let's start the analysis and first of all let me to begin with this 4 hour time frame chart. And as previously we have been watching this triangle that was broken down here. And after breaking down Stellar uh, broke out the same triangle that was uh, previously broken down here on 26th of May. And the reason was we had some external supports like we had the support of another trend line that was the formation of the down channel and while the price line was moving inside this triangle at the same time it also formed this down channel as well and uh, this was the reason that the price line broke down the support and bounced from this support of the of this down channel and you can see we had a nice rally and the target for this down channel was here at the top of the channel that was approximately 15.4 cents and here we also have the resistance as well you can see we have several rejections here and also we are rejected by this resistance here on the four hour time frame chart now if we take a look at the current breakdown then same as like the previous one uh, the it has formed a symmetrical triangle this was another symmetrical triangle the previous one and here we have another symmetrical triangle that is smaller than the previous one now here uh, we can see as i was telling you in my previous video we have a bounce here we have another bounce here we have another bounce here and this was the formation of a down channel we also had few touch points here as well and you can see we have a bounce here we have another bounce here we have another bounce here and if we remove this trend line from here and we can see at the same time it has formed a falling wedge pattern as well and if i remove this support line from here and we can see this is uh is slightly moving to the downside and here we have the resistance so there is another falling wedge pattern and if we take a look at the smaller time frame on the hourly time frame, then here we also have another support. And here we have a horizontal resistance. And now I'm just going to switch from four hour to one hour time frame. Then we we have another support of another ascending triangle on the more smaller time frame chart so we have several supports here so even though we have broken down the support of a symmetrical triangle but we need to watch out for some external supports as well and this is the support by the way that i was showing you is also another long-term support that is also also coming from here yeah, you can see we have a bounce here we have a bounce here and right now you can see still this support is in play Therefore, we can see that even after breaking down this triangle, the price line is still moving here and not moving more down. And we can expect such move like we had here previously. Uh, we tested this support here. We had some accumulation and then, then we rallied well and broke out the same triangle. It is also possible that we are going to break out the same triangle. At the same time, if we take a look at the Bitcoin chart, then uh, after breaking out uh, this descending triangle, Bitcoin has formed another descending triangle. And if Bitcoin slightly moves up, at least up to the resistance of this triangle, that will be approximately at $31,200 to uh, $300. As Teller can break out these two resistances, the resistance of this smaller triangle and also the resistance of this bigger triangle as well. And the target, uh, this time for example, if we will break out this bigger triangle, uh, will be approximately here at 16.4 cents. And at the same time, we have already seen that uh, it is uh, the seller is moving inside a very very big falling wedge pattern with stochastic in oversold on on the monthly time frame and there will be a very high probability if Stellar will be able to break out this resistance of uh, 15.4 cents and hit the target here that is 16.4 cents then it can also make another attempt to break out this resistance of the falling wedge you can see that that is also approximately at 16.4 cents 
So this was the updates over. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more ideas, you can also support me here at the Patreon because here I'm sharing different trading ideas for you. And you can find the link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.